guys it's alice and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a perfect salon blowout using this product and i think some of you guys may know but it's the revlon one step volumizer hair dryer and obviously because we're in quarantine right now or you know the whole pandemic going on so obviously it's kind of hard to go out and just get a blowout whenever you want at a salon so i'm just going to be teaching you guys how to do it at home and look really snatched anyways if you guys haven't already please click that subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so you know when i post but without further ado let's get going i actually just washed my hair and i kind of let it like air dry a little so it's not like dripping wet when i'm blowing using the hair blower so i have the hair blower right here and this is what it looks like if you guys don't know what a blowout is it's basically like huge curls in your hair usually like hollywood style more models they always have like huge big hair so the main goal is just volume which is why this product is perfect for it because it's basically called the one step volumizer first i'm going to section off my hair to the middle because i think that's just like so much easier so um i usually have a side part so <laughs> it's kind of weird so i have my hair tie here and the first thing i'm gonna do is basically take like two thirds of my hair so i just kind of like split it into three sections so i'm going to take two thirds of it and like tie it up i know my hair is a little knotty and i look like an egg right now at the bottom there's like a little like off cool high low setting and then you just kind of twist the bottom and then that's how you turn it on and off um i usually just use the low setting because actually i think this is like extremely powerful already you're just gonna split your hair into two different side and then um i like to start from the back section so that i can just work my way forward i'm just gonna take like a normal like I would say like one and a half inch piece, like this thick of a piece. And then I'm going to wrap the little blow dryer behind it because you want to make sure the curls are going like outwards, like folding outwards and not inwards. So you guys can like brush it through first and then just curl it like how you would for like if you were to like curl your hair for, like in a curling iron. So I would just like twist and then like pull out and then twist and then pull out and you're just like gonna constantly do this like when you get to the roots you can kind of just like roll in and out like this but the difference between this blow dryer and like a curling iron is that you're just gonna have to constantly keep rolling it you know you can't just have it like just stay like this because it's not like heated you know if you know what i mean but yeah and then the main thing is you're gonna have to like keep your brush like straight like this if you make it flat like this you're literally gonna have hair going like upwards and that would not be really ideal but um yeah make sure you keep it straight and make sure your hair is spiraling this way instead of that way just gonna wrap it like this turn it outwards and make sure you get the ends. Pull out. And I do it for like 45 seconds, I would say. Okay. So I got the little first piece done. And you guys can see the curl is kind of going outwards. And it's just a little cute little end to it. I'm going to do the second piece um, section of... The back layer and then comb it through all right so that's the second section we got the little curl on the bottom I think another tip that I do want to let you guys know is that make sure when you're like combing it like when you're blow drying it through make sure when you like twist the hair you have like tension when you like pull it out and then like re and then like twist it again make sure there's like tension if that makes any sense because if it's like loose like this like it's gonna be hard to like form the curl so just make sure it's like nice and tight
Okay, so I have the left side done. I don't know if you guys can see like very clearly. But anyways, you can see how my little hair is like swooshing outwards. So that's when you know the curl is going the right way. And you can see it's like nice and shiny compared to this side. It's getting a little frizzy here. For the left side, it's going to be the same thing. You just take the back section, the small section like this and then you're gonna curl like outward this way not like inwards but like outwards I just completed this side and you can see it's nice and shiny like the other side and the curls are going outwards I'm just gonna take the rest of the hair down so I'm just gonna pull this back so I know which section I already did and then just pull another one third of hair down and these are the hair that i gotta deal with since the ones i already did is all in the back so same thing you're gonna take sections from the back and then do the same thing curl outwards so i'm all done with the right side and honestly i feel like i did better on my right side than my left side I don't know, but um, yeah, I really love how it's about to turn out. So this is what it looks like with both layers. So for the last section, it's going to be a little bit different. You're not going to like split it on two sides anymore because the top section is actually the most important because it's a blowout. You need as much of volume as possible. So for the top section, is where the volume is gonna come in. So I look crazy once again, but this is basically my top section and then these are just like the stuff, the hair that I already did. So here it's like, you know, I guess some people call it like a little mohawk section, but you're gonna wanna split it in two halves, like not sideways, but long ways, if that makes sense. So you could just kind of estimate, split it into two parts like this. So we got a top one and then the one in the front. And so instead of curling it outwards like this, we're actually going to go up like this. And by doing that, it's going to give a lot of volume to the top of your head. So basically, I'm going to comb it through. You're going to flip it over. <laughs> I don't know why I did, did it so dramatic. And then you're gonna curl downwards like this. That's the only difference. And then so when you split it in the middle, it's gonna be voluminous and also it's gonna swish outwards as well. So this is what it's gonna look like. So it's gonna curl outwards like this and it's gonna look weird, right? But the hair actually swishes back like this and then it'll go back to normal. So I just finished the whole section. And so as you can see, I kind of like swished it back to where it was before, back to my middle part. And you can tell the front pieces are still curled outwards and wow like literally look how bouncy that looks <laughs> but um yeah it looks amazing so I know look looks like I'm just gonna bring everything to the front and here's the whole look I literally love it I feel like a freaking model right now And um, this is what it looks like, side part. This is what my side part looks like. Look a little crazy because I parted it sideways, but like look how much volume there is when I like flip it over. And literally, as you guys can tell, I think my hair is literally so shiny, which I think 
like you know that's such a plus and this is like me without any product so um if you guys really do want to like add more shine definitely just put in some argan oil or any kind of hair oils that you guys own but i think just like this it looked pretty good even without oil it dries and volumizes in one step um that is true my hair is completely dry and it's styled nicely then it says 36 percent less breakage so i guess it's not gonna harm your hair that much which is also always a good thing just want to say that i think everything on the box is 100 percent true i mean i'm just looking at this now it says 30 percent less frizz i barely have any frizz if you guys can see i think it's very like matted down pretty well honestly my opinion on it i think this is amazing as you guys can see when i was doing the front pieces i was able to hold on this part because it was nice and cool it wasn't hot like i had somewhere to kind of maneuver it and it was easy to use obviously for a salon blowout it does take time trying to get used to like the motion i feel like it cools down really quickly too it's not hot um the material they use for the blow dryer is actually a pretty nice material i really don't know what kind of material it is but um yeah it's not like you know a hot iron that's just gonna burn you easily and it wasn't that expensive i think it was like 40 dollars on amazon i don't know i'll let, i'll just put the price somewhere here and i'll link it down below but yes i got it from amazon and yeah i hope you guys really enjoy this review video and learn how to do your own perfect little salon blowout um i had so much fun filming this video for you guys and if you guys do want like future hair videos just let me know but anyways if you guys haven't already please check out my last two videos it'll be right here please don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye